We're going to talk fridges. I'm Jason. I'm Alex. We're with OK Four Wheel Drive, and we got three options here, and we're going to cover some of the high level details about each of them. Let's get started. The best products and best service from people who care and love what they do. OK Four Wheel Drive, outfitting vehicles since 1979. All right, the first fridge we're gonna look at here is the National Luna. This is a 55 liter fridge. This is just the power cables. We're gonna throw that to the side. Um, we've got all these baskets in here to kind of keep things separated. We talked about the baskets. Um, timeless design. I think it'll really complement to kind of banging around and beating around the back of a truck. Really good access to all of your features here. We've got a nice display. I have learned that this is a Celsius display. So if you're looking for Fahrenheit, it's not gonna tell you. This model doesn't have Bluetooth, but from what I understand, the new models are going to have a Bluetooth option available for them. The turbo cool feature on this is fantastic. So if you got something that you wanna throw in there and you wanna get it down to a really low temperature really quick, I think this fridge can do it for you. Yeah, we've got a bottle openers up here on, on both sides. I don't know when I'm actually gonna be opening two bottles at once, but it could happen. On the side here where the grab handles are, there's an integrated little slot that you can actually slip the strap through. These latches are lockable. One of the things that I'm looking for in a fridge is the ability to kind of drain them off. You know, we carry a lot of meat and a lot of beverages and things like that in these fridges. So it's really convenient for me to be able to pull a plug if I have to and let things drain out a little bit. So I don't just gotta kind of constantly get in there and just wipe and wipe and wipe and wipe and stuff like that. So that's something that's important to me. Not may not be a big deal to you, but this is the National Luna 55 liter fridge. So the next fridge on the list is ARB's 47 quart zero fridge freezer. Um, this one's really nice if you don't have an SUV. I'm running mine in a Subaru right now and it fits perfect in my trunk. It has a really nice easy display up front, your 12 volt and AC power. So you could plug this in at your house if you're having a barbecue, which is cool, or run it off your vehicle when it's in the vehicle. The 47 quart only opens at the front of the fridge, the way you see it here. So price wise on a 47 quart fridge is really nice. It's just over a thousand bucks. So if you're looking to get into a fridge and not break the bank, it's a really nice fridge to start with. I like that ARB has a app that you can control the fridge from. So you could set it to be a fridge or a freezer off your phone. You can also set it for three separate battery protection modes. So you could run this fridge really cold in the middle of summer, but it would kill your car battery. So you can put a safety protection mode on to keep your car battery from dying. One more thing I like about the 47 core fridge is the integrated tie down straps. ARB has a really nice bracket that hooks in right here and goes down to two tie down straps. So you'll have that in the front and the back and the fridge literally doesn't move. So this is what goes on top of your fridge. Um, you do get like a little door to get to the bottom of the fridge, but besides pulling out maybe a can of beer, it's a little hard to get anything else out of there. So you really do have to remove this every time you wanna to get to the bottom of your fridge. I really like that I could take it from my Subaru and then move it into a truck and it still fits and you have plenty of room for your camping equipment and all that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no Nerf guns or water guns allowed. <laughs> All right, so this is the Dometic. This is a big one. That's why we're on opposite sides talking about it. Yeah, it's meant for parties, right? So, or large families, or, you know, if you're just generally a very hungry person. So, um, as you can see, we have two separate containers, right? Some of the things I like about this is it's a very simple, clean design, right? Um, they've got all of the controls kind of integrated into this little space right here. Um, it's important to note that the plug is on Alex's side over here. Controls are up here. Controls are a little bit higher. So if in my situation where I'm trying to fit, you know, a, 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 a fridge in a space where I have to kind of slide it into place, I could potentially use you know, the controls up here or just use the Bluetooth like on the ARB Zero yep. and just control it from my phone. Yeah, and similar with the ARB Zero, this has three layers of battery protection. You can set it to drain the battery as much as you want. You can control it by your phone and you can charge your phone with this thing. There's a USB port over by Jason. What's also really cool, if I didn't mention already, did I, did I say it has a drain in it? Jason so likes his drain plugs. It'd be nice to actually pull a plug let that drain out until you can get to camp and then you can clean everything out when you get there. I like the, the straps. These straps also double as the anchor points, so they have to be nice and stout. Yeah, these handles on the side for sure. So pretty solid design. I think it's gonna come down to what you want and what your situation is, right? Yeah, S size constraints, you mm -hmm. know, and how big of a fridge do you really need? Are you going out for a weekend? Are you going out for a month? You know, it kind of determines how big of a fridge you might want. Fantastic. That was a lot. That was a lot. 
It's not everything, it's not every detail. Again, some of the specifications for each of these fridges are gonna be in the comments below. Yep, and if you have any questions that we didn't cover, leave them in the comments and we'll be sure to answer. And don't forget to subscribe, smash that bell for notifications, and we'll see you next time.